Welcome to the Star Ledger Newsroom, Monday, December 22nd. Dangerous terrorists or harmless dupes? We should learn today whether five men accused of plotting to attack soldiers at Fort Dix are guilty of a terrorism plot. The jurors are out. They have been deliberating on the case. They have been sequestered all weekend. And they told the judge that they expect to have a verdict today. Now, government prosecutors are arguing that the United States dodged a bullet when these men were arrested, saying they were actively planning a terrorist attack. The men's defense has basically been that it was just a bunch of talk, that they were lured and duped into this by a pair of government informants, both of them with shady pasts. Now, keep clicking on NJ.com. Reporter John Martin is at the courthouse, and we're going to have that verdict and all the other information and, and reaction from the scene as soon as it comes in. It is now noon and uh, we expect we could hear it within uh, any minute actually whether a verdict um, has been reached okay i have got two young daughters at home and i have to say that this year i am looking forward to the holidays the run-up to the holidays has been the best that it's ever been but it's also gotten me thinking about a lot of families who have uh, members of the family in uh, serving in the military in iraq and afghanistan and what it's what it's like this time of year for them now the internet in some ways is bridging the gap a little bit, allowing them to keep in touch in ways they never were able to before. Check out how a group of Franklin High School students is helping them do it. This is now an 18-year-old ornament. Linda Pagan put up the family Christmas tree herself this year, but she's waiting for her son Max, a sergeant with the New Jersey National Guard, to get back from Iraq to take it down. We'll have in June. We will have Christmas, Thanksgiving, birthday. Welcome home. We'll have it all in June. We'll be the only family with Christmas in June. Many days, Linda gets up at 4 in the morning to see if Max is online. And she's always putting together care packages. This month, there's a surprise in the package going out to the 50th Chemical Company, stationed in Camp Buka, in Basra. Linda teamed up with two high school students and the school's junior ROTC instructor to produce a video of family members Kyrie's Harrison and Jared McGruff take a video class at Franklin High School. They recorded the soldiers' families at an emotional Thanksgiving potluck. For them to actually have get in front of the camera and send a video so that their families can see, people, their family in Iraq can see how they are now, you know, what they look like, how much they have changed since they last saw them, rather than just writing a letter. Somebody that you met for a good, like, maybe a minute or so, and then you're just hearing all their thoughts and feelings about stuff that, like, you would have never, never even really experienced. So, I mean, it could be a little weird, but at the same time, you feel like honored to be able to relay their feelings. His first to communion, his high school graduation. Too. Max joined the National Guard when he was 17 and still a student at East Brunswick High School. He had to bring the recruiter to the house three times before his mother would even listen. You know, I just felt that one. Like, no, bye-bye, wrong address. And then now he's... um a sergeant, and this is the uniform he wears. Exactly that, with a gun. Linda says the neighbors think she's crazy for covering her house with messages for her son. He sees it and he knows it in his heart, so Mwah! Tell Max and all 50 of Kim, all the soldiers. All right, the military is also allowing soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan to record their own holiday greetings for their family. We have posted a slew of these. I think we were up to about 80 with many more to come on NJ.com. If you know someone serving in Iraq or Afghanistan, you can go to this site and uh, type in their person's last name in the keyword search. You should be able to find their greeting. Also, if you want to peruse them all, you can go to the page and click there on holiday uh, military greetings. And we can queue one up for you here. Now, this is military personnel from New Jersey. Uh, sending their greetings home. This one is Jennifer Johnston from Monroe Township. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Jennifer Johnston. I'm here at Camp Cropper, Iraq. I'd like to say hi to my daughter, Samantha Johnston, and the rest of my family in Monroe Township, New Jersey. Happy holidays. I love you and I miss you. All right, thanks a lot. Again, there's tons of those on there. Actually, we went through there this morning and started getting lost. People that I don't even know, and just start watching those one after another. Really enjoyable. I keep those families in mind this time of year. All right, finally want to wrap up. We got a comment on Friday uh, on the news blogs on the Ledger Live posting from Sal in Alaska, 61-year-old woman in Alaska who says, as a homesick 11th generation Jersey girl, I stumbled on the Ledger Live video, plan to follow your blog because the video was fun and made me less homesick. 
All right, I just want to give a shout out to Sal Alaska. That is our farthest flung viewer so far. You know, so many people have moved out of New Jersey or are moving out of New Jersey in the process that if we can just get them to watch, I think we'll have quite plenty of viewers uh, to make this thing a success. So, all right, that wraps up Ledger Live for today. Keep in touch, send us your photos, videos, emails. We want to hear from you. Ledger Live at StarLedger.com is the email address. You can go on as Sal did and log on to the news blogs there at NJ.com. All right, Jersey, take it easy.